Well, ICICI Bank reported its Q4 FI22 numbers and they have ended FI22 on a high note. Now, let's just uh, take a look. You know, there are some records which were set in their Q4 FI22 numbers. The net interest margin that has again come back to the 4% level. Now, remember that in, in Q2 FI22, they had done a 4% name. So, the net interest margin is back to the 4% level. This shows that they are operating profitably in terms of having a strong loan growth as well which I'll come back to it later. So the net interest margin is at all time high and that has driven the ROA as we call in the banking system or return on asset that we call has crossed the 2% level for the first time in last 7 to 8 years. So if we take a look you know it is at 2.11% when compared to around 1 1.9 to 1.95% in the previous quarter. What drove this strong return on asset is that net interest margin as we already know the provisions were also on the lower side given the fact that you know that had strong recovery and upgrades this time around and lower write-offs so uh, provisions do increase when you have high slippages or you intend to make prudent provision for the coming uh, quarters as well they did make a prudent provision this time around uh, close to about 1025 crore but that was well uh, within their uh, you know overall profitability which didn't impact their profits so the profits came in a little more than 7000 crore we were working with a number of close to 6630 crores so both on nii that is the net interest income as well as the pad the show has been pretty strong uh, from uh, icici bank few other factors to just mention you know uh, loan growth is at 17% uh, Q1 and Q2, they did have a 17% loan growth, but it fell in uh, Q3. However, they are back to the 17% loan growth, and this is primarily driven from the fact you know the retail loan growth is at 20% on a YY basis. Corporate portfolio still remains on the lower side in terms of growth, growing at around 9.2, 9.3% YOY and about one and a quarter percentage on a sequential basis. So, in the retail portfolio, uh, the uh, personal loan and credit card portfolio uh, has shown robust growth and that actually aids in your net interest margin given the fact that they are a high yielding portfolio. So, uh, as we mentioned, you know, the strong loan growth as well as the strong uh, net interest margin has helped the bank in uh, taking its ROA or return on asset above the 2% level for the first time in 7 to 8 years.